In his first media availability since the start of the LCBO strike, Premier Doug Ford urging the union to come back to the bargaining table. But he's refusing to concede to one of their key demands, keeping ready-to-drink cocktails exclusively at the LCBO. The ready-made cocktail specifically, are you willing to reconsider that, that one item? Well, they're absolutely not. If they want to negotiate over RTD, the deal's off. I'm going to repeat that. That ship has sailed. Let me be very clear. It's done. It's gone. That ship has sailed. It's halfway across Lake Ontario. The Premier not mincing words, promising spirit-based drinks will be available in corner, grocery and big box stores in just a matter of weeks, despite the union representing LCBO workers fighting against the move on the picket lines. Doug's not listening. He's not listening to us. He's not listening to the members that he says he's talking to. But the Premier says he's been fielding calls from hundreds of LCBO workers since the start of the strike almost a week ago and contends this issue isn't even top of mind. They want job security. They want to make sure they get an increase and they want benefits. They aren't worried about this RTD. The quicker we get back to the table, uh, the quicker we're going to be able to move forward with those three issues. Union leaders have argued the expansion of alcohol sales does put jobs and public profits in jeopardy. To our members, they see that as ours. They see that as one of the most popular, uh, largest growing markets right now. We need to know how much the LCB is going to lose because that translates into how many jobs are going to be lost. Some LCBO workers showed up to the press conference to speak directly with the Premier. I do want to get back to work and I do want to work, but I actually want to make sure that everybody who was able to be there for 25 years plus, that I could possibly be there for 25 years plus. Meanwhile, the Premier also refusing to change his mind on the abrupt closure of the Science Centre despite the public outcry. He says the list of repairs is long and expensive. That place is absolutely just a total mess from top to bottom to front to back to every single building. Even the bridgeway is, is closed. The air conditioning is gone. Uh, it'd be a foolish decision. You'll fall off your chair um, when, you, when you see all the issues we have down there, not just the roof. The Premier teasing a big Science Centre announcement coming tomorrow. He says the media will get a full breakdown of all the repairs needed and their associated costs. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.